Hello and welcome to Monkey Business for February 6, 2013. And in today's afternoon coffee muser, we have Computer Manufacturer Dell is going private. Dell's founder, Michael Dell, in partnership with global technology investment firm Silver Lake, will acquire Dell. Under the terms of the agreement, Dell stockholders will receive $13.65 in cash for each share of Dell common stock they hold in a transaction valued at approximately $24.4 billion U.S. dollars. That's about uh, 17.9 billion euro or 15.5 billion pounds sterling. Part of the transaction, incidentally, includes a 2 billion U.S. dollar loan from software maker Microsoft. In another $20 billion deal, The Guardian reports that cable operator Virgin Media has accepted a $23.3 billion takeover, that's about uh, £15 billion pounds sterling, by American cable tycoon John Malone's Liberty Global, noting additionally that the deal threatens to topple media mogul Rupert Murdoch's dominance of paid television by creating Europe's largest broadband business. The Guardian reports that the new company will have its headquarters in the UK and serve 25 million customers in 14 countries, including Germany, Belgium, Switzerland, and the Netherlands. Virgin Media reported on fourth quarter 2012 earnings on February 5, 2013, saying that cable revenues were up 3% for the year. Virgin Media CEO Neil Burkett commented on the results by saying 2012 was a year of record cable customer growth, where mainstream demand for superfast broadband and TiVo has led to a strong increase in new subscribers. And various media outlets are reporting that the central banking system of the United States, the Federal Reserve, has been hacked by hacker group Anonymous. The revenge attack was sparked by the death of internet activist Aaron Swartz in January 2013. That clip here. For more details on any of these stories, just browse the links in the info box. And now over to Marcel for nearly news. Take it away, Marcel! If you're in the U.S. and have a love letter burning a hole in your pocket, then perhaps you'd better hustle along to the post office on a weekday, because the United States Postal Service, or USPS, is no longer going to be making letter deliveries on Saturdays. The USPS announced this week to transition to a new delivery schedule by August 2013. But parcels will still be delivered Monday through Saturday, mail delivery will be cut to a Monday through Friday schedule. The reason for the cutback in service is a combination of financial necessity and a change in customer habit. Uh, email, texting, and other forms of communication services have decreased the need of most consumers to send letters in hard copy, except for legal reasons. In the meantime, consumers have taken to online shopping, so the USPS has adapted to in dealing with an influx of parcels on their way to buyers, which is why parcel delivery continues undisrupted six days a week, Monday through Saturday. On the financial front, the USPS expects to generate cost savings of approximately two billion US dollars annually after the plan is implemented. Back in a sec. Where, where is it going? Why? Oh, nothing, just uh, nothing, just have to go to the post office. Always the quiet ones you have to look out for, huh? Okay. Also, a sign of the time, Super Bowl ads might have been a major outlet for advertisers with spots reportedly going for 3.7 or so million US dollars for 30 seconds back to, during the major sports broadcast. Clip here. But uh, other crafty retailers found a way to get in on the action with less money but a lot more speed, reacting with an off-the-cuff ad which spread like wildfire on social media. Cookie brand Oreo had already bought a cookie or cream ad spot during the event, but when there was an unexpected power outage during the big game, they jumped to popular social media site Twitter with this spontaneous ad. With uh, little else to do while uh, waiting for the game to resume, uh, users picked up the ad and shared it with thousands of friends and acquaintances online. It was also shared 6,977 times on Facebook, uh, social boards, and uh, picked up uh, 21,241 likes from Facebook users. The viewers tuning in to view the audio ad on Twitter and Facebook were just a blip in stats compared to the 164.1 million who turned in to watch the game. 
But it's just another small indication that social media engagement might be a supplemental form of currency for 21st century businesses. Is he back yet? It's not August yet, you know. He'll be months early. How ridiculous. Ah, well, I'll do the sign of a loon. And that's today's monkey business. Take care, folks. It's a jungle out there. There he is. You made it very good. Voilà. Okay. <coughs> it's not in effect until August, you know. I missed that bit. It ran all the way. Yeah. It was closed, wasn't it? Don't remind me. Oh. Was it a love letter? Huh? Huh? Was there some chocolate for Valentine's Day? Huh? Oh la la. Marcel, shh, they don't know they're getting a letter. Um, now they do.